Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today, I wanted to talk about one thing in particular, and that is, um, if you followed, I haven't talked about this much. Um, I made, maybe made one, one video or two, um, but about three, four months ago, um, I decided I want to do something else because I do real estate um, investing and then um, as well as I have my real estate license and all that, I want to do something else. Uh, so I decided that I was kind of gonna start doing like uh, rental, car rentals through Turo. Um, so behind me, as you see, um, so I bought both of these cars, brand new Nissan Kicks, again, about four months ago. Um, and today I am actually, well, yesterday I signed the papers uh, to trade these in. Uh, the reason why is um, I think there's a lot of people that experienced um, this type with Turo. Um, I was hoping that I'm not gonna be the one of them or at least, you know, be able to avoid it. But apparently that wasn't the case um so about a week ago uh i found out that as long as you play by tour rules and do exactly what they want when they want how they want it you pretty you are pretty pretty much gonna be okay however if you do anything pretty much outside uh what they want you to do even though pretty much we own the cars it's this is my investment I literally have to spend, you know, I spent buying these two close to $50,000. Um, and so all this is, you know, I have to pay for the maintenance, I have to pay for the insurance. And pretty much Turo just, you know, takes the cut, takes the percentage. And I also find out that, uh, you know, Turo also charges the renter uh, pretty much like a booking fee and um, other fees on top. So, um, but, so in the four months um, I had close to 40, maybe a little bit over 40 rentals and pretty much every single one was five stars because again, I wanna make sure that, you know, everybody that rents these cars has a great experience. Um, I did have one instance where I found a solution, however, Turo put it up as it was my issue and it kind of snowballed from there. Um, you, you know, I was trying to, I was trying to um, resolve the issue however it just got worse and worse and my cars got daily stead um, and I got pretty much you know because I got put because of that one trip uh, because I, uh, because of the one trip and the algorithm tour uses um, if you do cancel a, you know if they mark you as that you cancel the trip the algorithm automatically puts you Pretty much at the bottom of the barrel you get blacklisted pretty much for a whole month so uh, that's what happened with me um and i kind of you know i'm like this is this is not worth my time um, i'm sacrificing so much i have to meet the people um you know any time of day saturday sunday um you know and it's just not worth my time so so that's what happened is um uh, after bought, buying these um, kicks behind me, um, I wound up trading it in. But what did I get? Well, the answer is pretty much across the street. And uh, let me see if I can turn it around. So here is the new hotness. So it's a 2019. Uh, Lexus LC 300 all-wheel drive um, they're just beautiful I always I always like these cars when they first came out the IS 250s and then these came out and just uh, the body is just beautiful so I decided that I'm, I'm gonna do this pull the trigger and you know be done because again spending all the time Uh, spending all the time on and I mean yeah just using all of the time I didn't get to go to car shows uh, 
and nothing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna open the door real quick. So yeah, the Lexus lights up. Beautiful interior. I did want to. I was trying to get the F Sport. Uh, it just didn't pan out. So, but a two like this one, I will uh, do a full video on this as well. But uh, yeah. So these pretty much. So now I have to get. So tomorrow they're gonna get picked up, uh, you know, by the dealership. Uh, so I still have to clean them up. Uh, so yeah, just, um, but I think, yeah, this is, this is, it's, it's just unfortunate. So, so just kind of as I was saying guys is if you do decide to go with Thoreau, uh, do your research beforehand because I kind of knew this could be a possibility and one thing one good thing about this is that I learned this lesson sooner rather than later uh, because uh, once I kind of posted this uh, on a couple of forums on Facebook uh, for the Toro I found out that um, there has been a lot worse case than myself uh, where it's interesting with instances where people had 10, 11 cars and, you know, they didn't do what, you know, Toro wanted them to do uh, and they pretty much got blacklisted and they still had payments. They, had, they still had, more, you know, car payments. I mean, you're still responsible for those. Toro doesn't give a crap. So, uh, you know, so, um, and yeah, so again, I'm just lucky that, um, you know, I learned this sooner than later. Um, so yeah, just kind of be careful guys. Uh, you know, you know, they, they make it look like it's this perfect thing. Um, you're gonna make, you, you know, you're gonna make a whole bunch of money, the whole nine yards. Um, even when you call the customer service, uh, they have, they have like a little catch, uh, you know, uh, script that you know how how this is going up and down but i'm not going to get into that so anyway um i just want to kind of let um uh, show you guys um what i've done because yeah it just was my it, it just wasn't worth my time because again i put so much time and effort over the four last four months again driving picking the you know picking the renters up dropping the cars off cleaning uh everything on top of everything else that i've been doing and you know because again i do have payments on these cars and i have to make them so you know and you know you make a mistake even though it's not yours if they decide this is your mistake you know pretty much you know if you can't make the mo if you can't make the car payments you lose bad ca both cars and you know your credit is ruined they don't care so there, there's no help so um so yeah so just kind of be careful guys but yeah i'm done with Toro. Uh, officially, again, um, I've traded these in yesterday and I got the beautiful um, Lexus RC350. I mean, sorry, RC300 all wheel drive. So, um, again, thanks for watching. Also, um, if you are new to the um, if you're new to the channel, uh, don't forget to subscribe. And um, if you have subscribed, I do appreciate your. Uh, support so hit a like you know give me a comment and all that so um, in the next couple of weeks I will probably do a video um, of the RC uh, again I just took a delivery yesterday so haven't been driving it just yet so um, so once I kind of start getting into it I'll, I'll do a little review just to show you guys what I think because um, it looks like a fun car so but this is for me as you see the sun here is going down as well, so uh, I'm just gonna call it quits. And again, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, uh, hit the like button, uh, leave me a comment. You know, if you are already subscribed, thanks for the support. So, 
uh, but this is this is this is the latest and greatest um, yeah so yeah I'm done with Toro so thanks guys have a nice day